Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 16 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to enable VMware HA or high availability in vSphere vCenter server 7. So basically if you discuss about the HA, HA is going to be a called as a high availability so it's provide the high availability for the infrastructure which is might be your ESXi host cluster or the Hyper-V cluster or anything the HA, HA provide the high availability for the resources which is running on the uh, cluster itself it may be a VMware cluster or Hyper-V cluster so if you enable the HA the HA is going to make sure that your virtual machine or the resource whatever resource is running on that particular cluster it's going to be highly, highly available in case any power failure in case hardware failure uh, with the host or ESXi host if any type of failure uh, going to occur with the hardware itself the virtual machine is still going to be a, a highly available for the infrastructure it might be migrate from one ESXi host to another ESXi host uh, by by like uh, if if you talk about the ESXi host let's assume the ESXi host got the some um, system board problem and uh, s uh, all of a sudden the uh, ESXi host got powered off and the virtual machine what what uh, whatever virtual machine that is running on the, those uh, ESXi host which is impacted the virtual machine got migrated and powered on on other ESXi host so we are going to see how this going to be happen in the real environment so so this is my demo environment which we are going to use in this video so the first one is my win2k19 dc01 which is my domain control and dns server so if you see my domain name is labsensor.com so here is it win2k19 dc01 active directory and dns is running on this machine and next our vcenter server which is vmware vcenter servers appliance 7 so my vcenter name is invcsa01 so if i go here you can see the vCenter server and we got it running on vCenter server 7 and we got the ESXi host cluster which we have created in last video and we have also enabled the uh, DRS in last video so in this video we are going to enable the our HA feature in this prod cluster so next I got two ESXi hosts ESXi01 and ESXi02 so now let's enable the cluster HA so right click you can right click on here and you will see the settings tab so you will see once you click on setting you will come to prod cluster and configuration page and then you can see the DRS is, in, is turned on which we have enabled in last video so if I go to vSphere high availability you can see the HA is powered off so uh, basically turned off so I'm going to enable it just click on edit so once you are going to click on this it's going to enable your HA and you can see host failure response it's going to basically if the host is going to be a fail and it's not going to be a part of cluster you can see the restart virtual machine when the host failure is detected VMs will be restarted in other determined by the their priority so the virtual machine is going to be um, restarted on other host so default VM restart priority is high is medium you can set it to like low high medium anything so leave it default for medium and then you will see the VM uh, dependency restart condition uh, like if you want to uh, put some delay in seconds you can put that additional delay in the you know, virtual machine to be restarted and uh, other things like uh, power on guest heartbeat detected and app heartbeat detected so let's these are some advanced features which you can configure when the host is going to be failed and response to host isolation is going to be um, disabled so if this is going to be thing the host is isolated from the cluster anything then what type of action it's going to take and then we have a data store with uh, PDL so these are some advanced feature with the uh, data store to be uh, which is going to be work in HA like a data store with P, P, PDL a data store with APD and there was a VM monitoring also you can enable the VM monitoring if you want so this is good you have a admission control for the virtual machine how much like ESXi host you can provide the fault tol tolerance so you can do it as per your requirement in the cluster so we got only one because we having two node cluster here 
and there was a define the host failover capacity also if you um, cluster resource percentage also you can override the settings and provide some um, customized settings here if you want to override the cluster uh, failover capacity and then you have a performance degradation VM uh, uh, tolerance so if if the virtual machine is providing uh, uh, like um, a degradation for the uh, performance then also it's going to take decision and heartbeat for data store you can use from the any of these like the data stores which is available in cluster so uh, automatically select the data store from the uh, uh, for the host is going to be a uh, most common which we can go with and use the data store only with the specific list or use the data store uh, listed in compatibility automatic automatically if needed so this is also going to be a fine so let's use the default one which was selected before and advanced options if you want to do some like you want to add some value for the advanced value for the HA cluster you can add it so just click on OK and now you will see this HA is enabled and now you can see the HA is enabled and you will see the HA configuration like restart VMs everything so now if I click on any of these virtual machines and just a scroll little bit you will see the VMware HA option is there and it's going to say you wha what the uh, what level of virtual machine it uh, the HA protection this virtual machine is getting so you can see if the virtual machine is basically protected by HA you can see the uh, VMware uh, vSphere HA feature there so to test this uh, let's assume this virtual machine is on running on ESXi1 and what I'm going to do if I go to ESXi01 and see the virtual machine this virtual this ESXi host got one virtual machine running and what I'm going to do this is my ESXi host and I'm going to directly power of this ESXi host and going to see how the H is going to migrate and power on this virtual machine from one ESXi host to other ESXi host so just click there and click on power off and now you will see this machine is powered off our ESXi01 is we lost the ESXi01 and you will see soon this virtual machine is going to be a you can see the HA agent is unreachable this status is got by the uh, vCenter server and now you can see the status is marked as a host status is going to be lost so now you can see the uh, vSphere actually detected a possible host failure for this host and now you can see the virtual machine is migration started since we lost the our ESXi host 01 so here you can see the virtual machine is migration is started so basically it's going to uh, restart your machine from one ESXi host which is ESXi 01 to ESXi 02 so soon this machine is going to be powered on on ESXi2 so now you can see the machine is moved to ESXi02 and it's basically going to restart your virtual machine so if I go here and show you this virtual machine you can see it's getting uh, restarted by the HA so now you can see we got some error here uh, like communicating to the remote host but you can see the machine is powered on and if I go here and try to log in you will see the machine is successfully uh, powered on on ESXi02 and let's verify you can see it's uh, basically unaccepted reboot so it's going to be asked for the like details to provide for the unaccepted report so now if I go to network and security center you can see this machine is got just rebooted the uptime is less than one minute so this is good so virtual machine is successfully uh, rebooted on ESXi02 so now if I go and power on this ESXi host once again and we'll see how the virtual uh, vCenter server is going to be react when this ESXi host is again going to come up so you can see the status is currently marked as a not responding since this is not available on the network anymore 
so once this ESXi is put completed it's going to uh, the vCenter is going to be detect the ESXi is available and then it's going to make this uh, host available in the vCenter server and might be it's going to migrate one depending if you configure the DRS might be this virtual machine is again going to be migrated and the uh, to make sure the load is distributed uh, equally on the uh, your um, cluster basically uh, uh, which is created here prod cluster so it's going to take some time to get this machine um, up and then we are going to see the ESXi host status is responding so this is good now you can see it's uh, still booting the ESXi host is still booting so it's going to take some time to get the ESXi booted and available in vCenter server so now you can see the ESXi 01 is back in cluster and we got some um, uptime also it's showing 2 minutes and if you go again on this you can see it's still running on ESXi 02 so since the DRS is not migrated the virtual machine yet but this is this is how the basically uh, HA works so whenever you got uh, you are going to lose any ESXi host it's not going to impact your virtual machine the virtual machine is going to be uh, basically restarted on other ESXi host so it's going to be uh, might be a one or two minute downtime for the particular virtual machine but the rest the virtual machine is going to be powered on and resumed on a other ESXi host so which is basically going to provide your high availability for the virtual machines by the VMware infrastructure so thank you for watching this video please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail address thank you once again bye bye